Hello YouTube, this is Randall Gustav here bringing you guys another YouTube video and in this video I'll be doing a review of my Mac Mini late 2014 model so let's go ahead and get started so the first question you might ask me why I bought a Mac and a Mac Mini in the first place so the first reason why I bought a Mac is for two reasons actually one for school and one for YouTube the school reason is because I do a lesson called graphic design which is a heavily based um, computer and um, hand subject but um, computer is very easy to do the subject on a Mac rather than a Windows device due to the amount of um, just the way the OS is made is so much easier to do it on the Mac than Windows hence why if you go into a classroom like a graphic design classroom you'll find there are quite a lot of Macs the, f um, the second reason is because I do YouTube and I find that editing on a Mac is so much easier um, because it comes with the free um, iMovie and Final Cut Pro X which is not free but both of them are really easy to use I'm not saying the Windows um, like Sony Vegas is bad but I prefer it it's so much easier um, so yeah let's just go ahead again and get started with the specs so the Mac Mini I bought is a Mac Mini late 2014 model which is the latest version you can buy right now there are three Mac Minis you can buy there's um, the first one which is priced at £369 um, the middle one which I bought is £569 and then the highest one is 669 or 700 roughly around that price but I think the middle one is perfect as if you're going into the £700 you might as well just buy a Mac Pro so yeah as I said my Mac cost £569 alone um, it came with OSX Yosemite, Yosemite I can't pronounce it right um, So, but then I did upgrade it to El Capitan um, which does have its own problems due to the software of El Capitan and does have a Wi-Fi issue but it is being patched so the processor is an Intel Core i5 processor um, which I wished it was an Intel i7 which is just ridiculous um, it, come, it is 2.6 gigahertz with a turbo boost of 3.1 gigahertz which isn't bad compared to a iMac which is only set at 2.6 gigahertz the memory is an 8GB LPDDR3, which I wished it was a DDR4, which would make it a lot better. The graphics card is an Intel Iris. And the storage is a 1TB hard drive, runs at 5400RPMs. Um, it comes with all the necessary stuff like wireless, connectivity, Ethernet, Bluetooth 4.0. It has 4 USB 3.0 ports, 1 HDMI port, 2 Thunderbolt port, a 3.5mm uh, audio interface um, input, a SD card reader, a 3.5mm mic input. Um, it doesn't come with a mouse, trackpad or keyboard. The only color you can get it is in silver and it weighs one2 kg which is very light the thing i really like about this mac is that the low profile is very very compact everything is squished into just one um, aluminium body which i prefer because i don't really have a setup if you guys watch my setup video you can tell i don't have a desk at all because my room is quite small so that's why i have my setup on a um a chest of drawer um thing and it's really good as you guys can see the table is small itself meaning that the Mac I had it had to be small and I really like the reason that it's small. Um what I think could have been better is that Apple could have put in a faster hard drive as 5400 RPMs is really really slow. It slows down the OS itself as for example if the hard drive would have been a 7200 RPM it would have been a lot faster also um I do plan on upgrading the hard drive itself to a SSD which would make um, actually using the Mac way way quicker um, I do wish it was a DDR4 RAM instead of a DDR3 um, 8GB is good because on my laptop it was at 4GB um, Intel Iris Pro is okay but it was, it's not the best but that's these are all the stuff you get for 569 and it's a Mac itself what kind of value you can get this for a new Mac and yeah and i do say that if you do choose to buy a mac mini definitely go for the mid one don't go for the the low end one which is at f set at 369 pound as that will definitely be slow as it's 1.6 or 1.3 gigahertz um processor which is really really terrible it has a four gigabyte um 
um, DDR3 RAM and uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive it's not it's not good but to definitely get the free um, the middle one and yeah this was my review of my Mac mini late 2014 model I will leave the links down below if you want to buy them um, and yeah thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos like this please like comment down below if you find this video helpful thank you